Hey Sammy, should I do some fake hiking while I'm stranded? I think I should do some fake hiking. Come on, give me a boom. Boom, boom. Give me another boom. Boom. Another boom. Boom. Since I got nothing but time, I figured I'd do some fake hiking because apparently fake hiking is really, really popular on YouTube. Just like all the other fake things on YouTube are really popular. My favorite fake thing actually on YouTube is uh, the people that put themselves in a box and then they mail themselves across the world. Like of course that's real. <laughs> but hey, look at all the green foliage. Look at that. Look at that, you know why? Because this is called a rain forest. All that green <laughs> grows because of uh, the weather from Hawaii. Believe it or not, Canada gets, on the west coast, gets Hawaii's weather about five to eight days later <laughs> and colder. <laughs> but it's still wet. So, anywho, you can tell I'm really prepared for uh, fake hiking because it's all about uh, <laughs> looking good, right? You know, I just actually had a shower in the RV and I got all my supplies for hiking. And uh, when we're talking supplies, uh, I'm gonna tell you what my uh, equipment is. You just heard it right there. I got a cell phone because, hey, you, you, got, you gotta have a cell phone, right? And, and I got some bear spray. <laughs> that, that's it, folks. That's what's all you need, man. And, and your wits. I mean, if I need uh, any more weapons, I can get a sharp stick out of the bush here. Besides, this is winter. <laughs> The only thing that could actually mess with me is uh, a cougar, which uh, you really wouldn't want to do. But, anywho, this is a trail that goes all the way to Harrison Lake. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's a great content video for fake hiking. Because uh, it's so uh, remote that uh, I could, uh, you know, I got a tent in my RV. I should pitch a tent over there tomorrow and say that I'm living in my tent and ask for the donations to come flying in. That's what I should do. I'll build a tiny little fire and get all weepy eyed. You know, of course, I'd have to take the sunglasses off for you, to, for you guys to see me cry. But, you know, I guess I can't do that, can I? But the beard, if you guys notice, is getting longer. You know, I'm shaving off all the rest of the crap. But uh, I actually have to uh, siphon in water one liter at a time into the holding tank so that I can have a shower. So I'm really roughing it. <laughs> yep. Which uh, brings me to the next question. Somebody asked me in a comment the other day, they go, how come you can look so clean when everybody else, or not, well, let's not say everybody, when many of the other RV YouTube nomads they look kind of unkempt and unclean. I don't know. Are they really rationing that uh, gas station water? Hey, I'm siphoning mine from a creek and, and I'm doing okay. Hey, I think it cost me about five cents of propane to heat up a tank of hot water in the RV. I mean, I just, I just flick a switch, that's it, and I got hot water. <laughs> but I do need a haircut. One of the first things I'm gonna do once I get back into civilization is just cut these locks because uh, the hair is getting kind of uh, a little too long. Glad I'm wearing a hat. Woo, look at this trail. It's just getting rugged. Woo. I'm in the hinterland, folks. All you people in the big cities, you guys never get to see this. I mean, look, look how green. This is winter. This is winter in Canada. And look how green everything is, man. It's crazy. I'm scared. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. What else should I do while I'm fake hiking? If you guys got any suggestions on me fake hiking while I'm stranded here, you put them in the comment section below because I, I can do all sorts of fake hiking requests, you know, because I got nothing but time here. <laughs> 
Oh, it's getting a little darker in the forest here. Ooh, it's big cliffs. This is where the cougars live up in the hills over there. Woo! It's getting pretty scary. Well, that's about it from here. I don't really have much else to say. You know, it's a pretty tough fake hike in here in the forest. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your wheels in the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.